Hello everybody, it's me Sam Go from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you a really truly epic plugin for Bucket. Um, it's called Dragon Travel and it's by Fira and XM Doom. Apologies if I said those names wrong. And it basically allows you to travel to places on dragons. So without further ado, I'm actually going to show you it first and then I'm going to show you how to set it up. So I'm going to go into my station, it's called London Dragonpool Street gonna go on my dragon with DT space mount and you can see now I'm flying a dragon I can't actually control where it goes but I can set destinations for it to go so I'm gonna set it to go to the Docklands light dragon way so DT travel D Docklands light dragon way and there we are it's starting to fly across the world to the Docklands light dragon way as you can see, this is pretty epic, in my opinion. I mean, you're flying a dragon. Um, so there's the uh, Docklands Railway over there. And we go to Interland. And there we are, we've reached the Dragon Way. So, as you can see, a truly epic plugin which you, allows you to uh, fly dragons around to locations. Now, I'm going to go over how you can set up stations and how you can uh, set destinations for the dragon. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to make this a station, because this is not actually a station yet. And I'm going to do DT, set, stat, and then a name, so DLD. Now, DT, set, stat, DLD. Oh, I already chose a name, so I'm going to choose a DLD station. Now, in the config, which I'm going to go over later, there is a use stations config. And now, if this is set to true, uh, users can only mount dragons in stations. At the moment, anyone can type dl mount, and they'll just mount a dragon from whenever they are, wherever they are. So, to set that to true, and so that they can only travel from stations, you need to set that to true in the config, and I'll go over that later in a bit. But to create a station, it's DT stat, uh, DT set stat, and then the name of station. You can remove the station by doing DT rem stat, and then the name of the station again. Okay, so we also want to set destination. So now we've got our um, station. We want destinations for this station to go. So let's create a station. Let's create it over here on this tree. So I'm going to type dt space set dest and then the name of the destination. So I'm going to say tree. Okay. So now if I was mounting on a dragon, I'll be able to go to that tree location. So let's just mount a dragon from here. Now I, I've set stations to false so I don't have to be in a station. But if you were to set them to true, you would have to be in a station. But I'm going to do dl mount. DT mount, apologies. There are, I'm on my dragon, and now I'm going to do DT travel tree. And now it's traveling to the tree location which I just defined, which I've actually lost. Oh, there it is there. Oh. Going inside a uh, mountain. There you go, now I'm at the tree location which I defined. Now, just to remind you, this is a beta plugin at the moment. It currently works on all craft bucket builds. Uh, 1700 plus but uh, hopefully soon should be a full release plugin. Okay, uh, just a few more things. DT list shows all the locations we can travel to. So there's the Docklands like Dragonway and the tree. And we can also do DT sea travel. So DT mounts, DT sea travel and let's go to 000 which is going to be terrible but let's go. Now it travels to coordinates, and that you use C travel and then X, Y, and then Z. Now I don't actually know what this is, so this might go on for a while. So I'm just going to end it here and then go over to the config. So see you in a bit. Hello, you now join me uh, for the config and installation, which I'm just going to go over now. Okay, so this is the thread. Link will be in the description. I want to download it here, and then download, and then you'll get a dragontravel.jar. 
drag that into your plugins directory, run the server up, and a Dragon Travel should be created with databases and config in it. Uh, the thread will also show you the latest updates on the plugin and also the commands and permission nodes if you need them. Okay, so I'm going to go over the config now. So you get, you get a Dragon's Travel directory and databases and config. Databases just show where all the locations that the plugin requires, like um, the stations and destinations. Uh, you just don't need to worry about that, just leave that alone. Uh, but config is what we're interested in. So config. Okay. So, yeah, th again, this is beta. So you can actually uh, cast it for people to travel and stuff. So you, if you have an economy, uh, plugins do like iconomy or boss economy then you can say that's a true but you need to install vault vault it just collects all the uh, economy plugins together and allows them to use each other uh, explained wrong but oh well uh, but yeah if you have economy plugin install vault and then set this to true and then cost per flight this is how much it will cost for someone to go and mount the dragon and then fly to a destination so at the moment one you can change that to what you like, but you must have a economy system installed. Uh, the travel height, so this is how high the dragon flies during a travel. So you can set that to high or lower depending on what your, your preference is. Uh, and then you've got the use station which I was going about earlier. So if this is true, users can only mount in a station. If this is disabled, they can mount from anywhere. Okay. Uh, this is the distance to stations, so just like a, if you think of a point as a station, this is the radius almost around that point that the uh, user can mount from. So, for instance, if you have a quite big station, you might want to increase that limit uh, to something higher, or if you have a small station, you might want to decrease that. At the moment, it's five. And then you've got these two things here so, anti grief or dragons, uh, dragons. If you don't know, they create massive holes and tear up loads of stuff. Uh, default, just random dragons. You can set that to anti-grief so they don't do this. And then the dragon, the actual traveling dragons that you're flying on, um, they would originally destroy the world, you know, as you're flying. But you can set that to true so they don't destroy it. As you can see, default by true. And that's why I didn't destroy the mountains when I went through them. But you can set that to false if you want. But that goes over the config. So uh, thanks for watching. This is a truly epic plugin. I I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe. It's been me, Sam Cooper Gaming. Signing out.